I hear a lot that Optifine is significantly worse than Sodium, and I can agree and disagree to that, depending on what your computer is. What I mean by that is, if your CPU is strong or not, so if you have a strong CPU, or just a modernly good one with, let's just say, 4 cores and 8 threads, or 4 cores and 4 threads, like an i5-3450 or newer, you can run Minecraft Sodium with no problem. But if your CPU is on the weaker end, like this CPU I'm using right now, which is an i3-2120, as you can see, the game is stuttering and lagging a significant amount, not just a little bit, but a lot, to the point where it's just unpleasant to play the game. Now, yes, after the game loads for a while, it does start getting smoother, but that requires having to sit around and wait for the game to actually load in right, so, well, it not so laggy. But if you're using shaders or have a slower graphics card, Sodium is better because it uses the graphics card more and I think it takes a load off of the CPU, but it still is a lot worse on slower CPUs. As you see, the frame time graph on the top left of the screen is that line it is incredibly stuttery, which makes the, the, the playing experience feel very bad. The current in-game settings that I'm using is 8 chunks render distance, 5 chunks simulation distance, then this is the quality tab, this is the performance tab, this is the advanced tab, and shaders are turned off. To give it the best chance possible. And yeah, it is still lagging, it will fix itself eventually, but it will still be super stuttery when going between chunks. But the average FPS is actually higher than with Optifine. Now we're on Minecraft Java on basically the same settings on Optifine, and as you see, it is also a bit laggy and stuttery, but it is not near as bad as it was on Sodium when loading in the world. Now, it will take a little while for it to sort itself out, but the average frame rate will be lower, but it will be smoother. At least it has been from most of the computers I've tested. I haven't tested this CPU because I just never tried it on Optifine before, but I'm assuming it's the same here since this is a weaker CPU. It does stutter here and there, but it does feel smoother than Sodium, which is a very nice bonus. The only downside is it is a lower average frame rate, but uh, it's a trade-off. But as you see, we're already up into the 60s and 70s in the frame rate. It will dip down in some spots, but that's fine. Also, I found a broken chunk walking between this block right here. Well, I broke it. Walking between this block right here and this block right here causes a lag spike. It's a spike in the graph, you can see, every time you walk up and down here. I don't know why, but that's just a thing that happens. Again, if you have a faster CPU in your computer and you have a nice PV graphics card and you're trying to play with some shaders, Optifine is not the way to go. Sodium is. It just depends what you're trying to do. Also, I've been testing a mod out called Forget Me Chunk, and it seems to be helping a little bit when it comes to loading in chunks. Like, for example, going between these two broken chunks, it happens once the lag spike, but it tends to just stop mostly, or it irons it out basically. It still exists, it's just not quite as noticeable, and sometimes it doesn't even happen when we're going between these blocks, which is quite nice. Another one is called Enhanced Block Entities, I do recommend giving that a try, though I think it only works for Sodium, because I can't seem to get it to work with OptiFabric anymore. I don't know why, I used to use it for OptiFabric, but it's not working now, I have no clue what's going on. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.